I swear if I roll up at a party and the vibes are right, I'm fucking just naturally drunk. Like I'm yeah. not I'm not actually drunk because there's alcohol in my blood lo- system. Um al- I'm <laughs> you're alcohol because I'm, right I'm alcohol because I'm actually drunk. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm drunk just because that's the way I was fucking born, dude. I I, know. I have no filter in a party environment. I'll say anything. Sometimes I'll be talking to someone, I'll be like, why the fuck did I just say that? The amount of times that like I've had to convince people that Grayson wasn't drunk, it's pretty crazy. They're yeah. like, wait, wait, so you guys don't drink. And I'm like, no, they're like, then what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Dude, Grayson, we went to my sister's college back when we were allowed to go to parties and stuff. And two we threw, years ago. Yeah, so my sister had her final lacrosse game uh, of her college career. No, 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 they had a lacro- the final lacrosse game the next morning. Yeah, well, yeah, we were celebrating. <laughs> but we accidentally celebrated before the lacrosse game instead of after. And they, they had like a full winning record. They hadn't lost the game. They beat everybody by like a bunch of points. They were a really so good team. So it was their last game and we were celebrating grayson and i flew to surprise our sister for senior look a game day or something like that yeah. so we walked out on the field with her it was a beautiful thing um and my sister was hung over because of us so um yeah our sister drinks we, we we don't but she does and she doesn't have a problem with it and i don't have a problem with what she does so it's awesome we have a great relationship and we're in a party environment we all thrive together um my sister – Well, is, I, I basically threw this party. Yeah, so we my, threw this party for Cameron. My, my sister was like, hey, I'm going to like have a few of my lacrosse friends over. Do you guys want to like hang out? And I was like, yeah, fuck you. Let's do it. Why, but, Cam, why, why don't we throw a party, though? And she said, well, we have a game tomorrow at like – we have to be up at, at like 6 a.m. because the bus is t- – or 7 a.m. The bus departs at 7.30, and it, it's taking us like a few states over to, to this other team that we're playing. No, no, no. It was, it was, it was in town. No we way. Went. No, we, no, no. We no, went. no, 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 no. The, that was the game before. The next, the next day, we didn't go to the game. We oh shit! Back. Yes, we accidentally. We this was oh bad. Yes. This was bad. So wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Even no, let worse. me tell the even, fucking story through the damn party. Let me preface even. it with this. Even worse. So they had a game for the last home day was their senior game day. Yeah. And then their last I, game. They forgot they had another the game. Day. So we celebrated the game before the game. The game. All right. So basically. My sister's like, I'm having a few friends over. And I'm like, but Cameron, I have this fucking playlist on my phone. Yeah. And she was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, 08, 09, and 10 bangers. And and that was the moment that we knew this shit was going to be lit. So I basically, I got a bunch of like just fucking absolute bangers from like 2008, 9, and 10, which is like arguably probably the best music era ever. Maybe that's just because I was like... The, well, well, nostalgia just hits harder than ever. But yeah, but like, dude. Also, airplanes by Bob hits harder than ever. But, but yeah, dude. I, I honestly will tell you right now. And wait, when I first heard airplanes, I was like f- fucking mind blown. Yeah, I don't know. It's because I, I don't think I've ever heard had a, heard a song that good. Well, ma- also Magic by Bob. Yeah, but Magic was good because it was like a bop and it was really feel good. But bro, when I heard airplanes, bro, I was fucking mind blown. All right, and I haven't. I don't know if I've been that mind blown by music in a while. Like, picture like an air. I, and here's the thing: I'm always like, picture of like another airplanes came out. But like, I think nostalgia plays a big part. But I will say, like, I remember the moment that I heard it, and I was, I, I was fucking shocked. I was shook. Um, all right, but so let me get back to my playlist. Why, but here, real quick, why, why, why do you think we're chasing nostalgia? Like, what's the science behind that? Comfortability. Is it comfortability, or is it like wanted to feel young again? No, but it's also a feeling. Yeah. It's a music that already has a vibe built into it. That's what I was it. saying. Like every year is an opportunity to just feel. You know what I mean? You don't know what you're gonna feel. You don't know what's gonna happen. All right, bro. What the fuck are you on a podcast called Deeper right now? Let me talk. I'm on a podcast called Deeper right now. <laughs> Getting so deep. I'm trying to fucking explain that I had everybody talks by Neon Trees on this playlist too. Okay, dude, that just hit me in my fucking fo- feels. And you know what else I had on this playlist? What? Club can't even handle me. You know, I know. Yeah, you're going to get copyrighted. Don't sing it. Don't sing it. Don't sing it. But Nicki Minaj and Flo, Bro, I, Flo I, I'm telling you right now, I know every single lyric to that song. I don't know how. It's embedded in That's my brain. That's also another thing. When you play a song from that, that time, you you could just spit every single lyric. How much smarter would I be and how much more information on my day-to-day life would I be able to retain if I didn't know every single lyric to Club Can't Handle Me by Nicki Minaj and Flo Rida? From 2008, le- 9? You'd be less smart. I would be more smart. That song is straight facts, bro. That song is straight facts. You're right. All right, but basically, we're thank you, this Brain, party. for remembering. We're throwing this party, and uh, then there was like seven people, and then it tur- turned to like thirty-five. Okay, and if you just joined the podcast right now, this was two years ago. <laughs> um, just to fucking clarify again, but there was like 
my sister had this rooftop apartment and it was sick like but it wasn't a rooftop apartment it was just the last one on it was on the highest floor and you could hop out of her window and then jump onto the other building's roof and like fuck around and so like fuck around on the roof so great we, idea so we were uh we were like we were playing like pong and all this shit and um damn that was dope yeah you sound like you i was just drinking water and then like <laughs> and then we were dancing and stuff and like I was, I saw, I sang so hard. I was the sweatiest person there. Probably not a good thing. I was um, dancing harder th- than I think I've ever danced in you my life. You were being drunker than anybody there, but you were not drunk somehow. Okay, and and, and I, that's okay, and I, I want to explain the 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 reason that I one of the reasons I don't drink, and it happened that night was because I was in the window to go out onto the roof. And then I went onto the roof, okay? And then in that same window on the way back in, I f- stood up, like, on the windowsill because it came out a little bit. So I stood up, and I'm right now on the windowsill, so I'm about four feet off the ground. And I'm standing, and I'm making serious eye contact with the pong table. It didn't, the pong table didn't have eyes. Are you sure you were sober? Yeah. I was staring at it, and I was in my head really fucking trying as hard as I could to talk myself out of Jumping on this table and belly flopping and smashing it. and smashing it, and that perfectly good table. Guys, dead sober. I'm looking at this table and I'm in my head saying, "Grayson, don't fucking do it." And then I have this other other part of me that's like, "Gray, this shit would be so fucking lit, dude. This would feel so fucking good if you just went through that table right now." And then there's another part of me that's like, "Gray, you're just meeting these people at this party for the first time, and it's your sister, and it's your team. Don't make yourself look like an idiot, and don't embarrass your sister." And then I'm like, over here. I'm like, "Grayson, you don't give a fuck. You just want to go through that fucking piece of plastic and hit the floor, and get up and start dancing and singing again." And then somehow I talked myself out of jumping on the table. But I'm gonna say if I had mm, half a shot in me, I probably would have fucking <laughs> belly flopped on the table, embarrassed my sister, possibly face planted and ended up in the hospital. Who knows what would have happened? Maybe it would have been fun, but that right there is a good reason why I choose to stay sober because I have this drunk guy in my head anyway. Mm-hmm.